what i ordered is so tiny i don't know why they put it in this huge box how old are you and are you currently dating tell him no 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 tell him no 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 you've been trying to cater to all the needs you've been feeling guilty for so long baby then a friend stay your enemy the way that i'm able to balance everything is just gold I, because some I can't explain it to be honest. So it's God. Yeah. It's your girl Max Lynn and welcome to a new vlog. So later this day I was making some coleslaw to go with some jollof that I actually made. I made jollof with some sweet corn and it was so good. Mini came over so we had that. I didn't want to record the entire jollof process because I only just recently posted a jollof recipe video. Anyways, welcome to a new vlog. If you're new, you're very much welcome to the family. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, you're welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet though, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, okay? And enjoy. Boy, loving is a safe card. You don't have to play hard. Love and let go. Boy, you don't have to play smart. We can take it slow. You so here's a list of all the ingredients you need to make this cool slow. And what you want to do is to make sure that your cabbage is thinly sliced, okay, very thin. And you grate your carrots and then just chop the parsley. Now the parsley is optional but it gives the coleslaw this nice green colour that I like. So after you've cut all the vegetables, you want to put the mayonnaise in a bowl with all the other ingredients, okay. Um, apart from the lemon zest. So you want to actually zest the lemon into the bowl with all the vegetables. And then squeeze just half of it into the bowl um, with the mayonnaise, sugar, salt, black pepper, mustard and all of that. And give that a good mix. And the final thing you're going to do is to mix the dry with the wet ingredients. And that's it. This coleslaw is so good, it's so creamy, so rich, and it tastes really quality. So I served this with the jollof that I made, and we made some chicken as well, so that was dinner. It was really good. Hey guys, good afternoon. So today is Saturday, and it's um, a few minutes past 12. 
um mark and i just want to make like a bagel sandwich i want to make it for her actually so i'm just stepping out to get some bacon some um avocado we don't have a couple of things we need for that sandwich so i'm just going to go out buy them and then come back and then we'll make it together i hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend um the issue about my laptop i still haven't fixed it so i'm hoping to get it fixed this week and then yeah so let's go no long talk there's been a whole lot of trying whole lot of crying whole lot of telling me i should be dying to be like you but i don't want to be like you because i could do i could do better i could do i could do better i could do i could do better
Just text, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such Ayy, the Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall if you're wondering what I put on top of the avocado, that was hot sauce, sriracha. Um, but that was Mark's sandwich, and this is my sandwich, actually. My egg was runny, so it made it juicier, and it was so good. I know I want you, long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous. But if you want it, tap it. I think that I know somewhere. Guys, so I'm done eating the brunch stuff I made. It was so good. The bagel sandwich was amazing, guys. I enjoyed it so much. Anyways, I rested a bit and now I want to sort of like um, unbox something that I bought. For the first time, guys, I'm unboxing the thing in your face, guys. So I haven't even opened it. Um, so yeah. The first thing we're going to unbox is this. So I got this box of new candles. The company is based in Devon, which is actually where Exeter is my school. Um, and I actually saw that they were doing a sale and I just thought to, you know, buy a couple of them. So I got two and I just want to show you. So I'm opening the box now. And right when you open the box, this is what you see. And then this is what is at the back. Hello lovely, before you dive in, here are a few points to remember. All elements of our packaging other than the clear tape are 100% recyclable. Blah 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 blah. And our peanuts, and our packaging peanuts can be dissolved in water. This. Ooh, that's cool. So it's eco-friendly. I could actually tell that it would be able to dissolve in water. That's really cool. Um, please make sure your wick is trimmed to 5 millimeters and is nice and tidy each time you light your candle. When you first light your candle, do so for a minimum of 2 hours. I knew that. Um, this allows an even wax melt pool. Do not burn your candle for more than 4 hours at a time. So yeah, so it's vegan, it's 100% natural soy wax, it's paraben free, palm oil free, cruelty free. And it is hand poured in Devon. I already started by saying that they are based in Devon. I think this is actually like a small business, so this is really nice. So this is what it looks like inside. So I forgot what I got. Let's check. So I got one coconut and lemongrass and then I got one bergamot and patchouli. Um, I've forgotten what patchouli smells like but I know for sure that I've smelled it before. I know what lemongrass smells like and I know what coconut smells like. Um, so yeah, these are the two. I don't know which one is which. We're just going to guess and open one. Ooh, so this is the coconut and lemongrass one. Okay, this is impressive. Hmm. This is nice. Oh, it smells so good, guys. I love this. So this is what the inside looks like as well. And there's a sticker at the bottom of the candle that has a list of ingredients and a couple of warnings. Um I really like this. It smells like coconut and it smells like lemongrass. 
Well, you know sometimes you buy a candle and then you can't really smell get the, the smell of the fragrance in the candle but this one is very present and i like it second one which is the patchouli and bergamot so it's the same packaging nothing different it's all standard packaging so they both have the same vibe this is the second one and i'm going to smell it as well it smells like a very good scented soup I don't know how to explain this but this smells like a really good scented soup I think it's because I don't know what this is supposed to be smelling like but it just smells like a really good scent I like it and I'm going to burn it so yeah these are the only two candles that I got from there and that is the first package actually guys I only have two packages and the second one is my best friend's birthday gift um, I want to sort of wrap that today but I might not I just want to open the box and then um, yeah I'm wondering why this thing came in such a big box because what I ordered is literally this small it's so small it's so tiny like I just got here earrings so I don't know why they put it in this huge box. I really don't know why. So, while I'm opening this, I want to talk about us getting to 1k subscribers. I don't know if by the time this video is up, we would have had 1k subscribers. But let's just say that we don't have 1k subscribers by the time this video goes up. I just want you guys to know that I'm super grateful to all of you for the support that you guys have shown me. Some of you, when I see your comments, I'm just like, yeah, I definitely have to keep going on. This is serious, guys. Guys, this is very bad because I've just unboxed this thing and I'm just like, there was no point putting all this rubbish in this box. Guys, this is very bad guys i'm just super shocked at the size of the box i'm just like why when all i ordered was this <laughs> make it make sense please i'm still trying to understand this this is all rubbish this crazy I have some Ben's cookies here and then I have my coffee so that's going to be breakfast. Mark got me Ben's cookies. Minnie actually bought it for me but she said Mark asked her to buy it. How cute. Hi guys, happy Monday. So today is Monday. It's currently 3 p.m. and yesterday was Sunday. Sorry, there's a lot of noise in my area. But I asked um the people on Instagram yesterday. My food was on Instagram and on Twitter to just ask me random questions anonymously so i used that app um, ngl i think that's what it's called this app this app to get people to send me random questions okay so i got a little over 25 questions i think and i just want to answer all of them here now that's how i'm going to end this vlog um i don't know if i spoke too much in this vlog but i'm not trying to speak too much right now too because i found that a lot of people find it boring when i talk a lot so it will just be straightforward answers to those questions okay so let's go so question number one when was the last time you wet the bed <laughs> to be honest i don't know why this person is asking this question but i can't remember genuinely i do not know i don't know sometime when i was little i don't know 
to this is not a question but i just want to say that i really enjoy your youtube videos and i'm so inspired by what you do thank you so much i think i know who sends this and yeah thank you so much girl i know you do you think birds are real this is the third question yes i think birds are real because i've seen a couple of birds I've seen birds in different colors i've seen different types of birds so yeah um Question number four, we should talk more. To be honest, I do not know who this is. If you are saying we should talk more, you should have added your name, to be honest. How am I going to know who you are? So just let me know who you are and then sure, we can talk more. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? So I went to bed at like 3 a.m. I always sleep late, by the way. And it's not because I'm trying so hard to stay awake to, to you know, do something. Even though I stay awake to edit, I never force myself to, you know, stay awake even when i want to sleep um to be honest i'm not about to calculate but i slept at like 3 a.m and i woke up at like 8 15 a.m next question how many selfies do you take a day i don't always take selfies like in a week i'd probably take selfies like once in a week but sometimes i don't even take any selfies at all in a week it's just when i feel like taking pictures you know so yeah what do you dislike about yourself? What do I dislike about myself? I don't think I'm that good at things that I am actually very good at. I dislike that I criticize myself a lot even when I'm very good at the thing. So yeah, it has to be that. That's like the number one thing I don't like about myself. And I've realized that a lot of my friends have realized that about me as well. So it's something that I am working on. So yeah. Next question, have you ever cried during a movie? So many times, all the time, always. You have good style. This is not a question, but thank you. Thank you very much, whoever is saying this. Thanks. <laughs> this one, this particular one made me not laugh, but I was like, wow. Anyways, let's go. Sometimes I take a step back and think deeply about it. How do you balance studying and vlogging? And do you make time for your mental health? Maxlin, I'm simply concerned. <laughs> I think the way that this question was framed, it was, it made me, it was like the person was being very serious. And I really appreciate the concern because I can understand why you would think I wouldn't have time for myself if I'm vlogging all the time studying and even working you know but I enjoy doing the things that I'm doing right now like I enjoy vlogging I enjoy cooking I enjoy putting these videos together and when I come here and I ever complain that guys you guys need to subscribe because I'm suffering so much putting the videos together don't think I'm doing it and I'm not enjoying it I enjoy it but I just want you guys to engage with the content that I create if you get what I mean um, and it's only natural for me to want to see results after I do what I do, even though I love it. Do you get what I mean? So yes, my mental health is in a pretty good state right now. I'm happy. And yeah, the way that I'm able to balance everything is just God. I, because some I can't explain it to be honest. So it's God. Yeah. Maxlin, what oil do you use in your meals? Do you include exercise or intermittent fasting in your everyday routine? So I use sunflower oil, um, olive oil and avocado oil. Those are the oils that I've used or that I use. Avocado oil I use in salads most of the time, like for salad dressings and stuff like that. And then the olive oil I use for like eggs and stuff like that. And when I'm using vegetable oil, I don't use vegetable oil, I use sunflower oil. When I use sunflower oil, when I use sunflower oil, I use it to fry stuff like yam or like um, if I'm making a lot of stew, I actually use that. But I'm trying to transition totally from sunflower to olive oil only and then avocado oil. Um, it's just that olive oil can be very expensive sometimes so when I'm doing bulk cooking and I know the thing is going to need a lot of oil like you sound flat so yeah okay now this question I've had different versions of this question but I'm just going to answer it now how old are you and are you currently dating I'm 22 and no hello call me it's been almost nine months I feel like I know who this is <laughs> but I'm not sure if you are watching please 
text me again or call me you are amazing i watch your videos and they are so helpful thank you so much and i'm really glad that my videos help you next question do you think you can do a what to pack to the uk from ghana video or can you just insert it into one of your vlogs so the person puts into brackets food um i will think about it if i decide to use it in one of my vlogs okay so yeah favorite movie so i feel like for stuff like favorite movie favorite music and stuff like that it changes from time to time like i can't have one favorite movie and stick with that till till do you get what i mean because new movies come out all the time new music as well so currently my favorite movie is gangs of lagos i think because that's like the most recent one i've seen that i liked so yes gangs of lagos if you haven't seen it you should next thing any pan or pots recommendations moving to uni soon i want to buy good but affordable ones okay so i have a uni starter pack guide it's like a mini book it has like 12 pages also but it has almost every single thing that you need for uni um it contains information about things that you need for uni um and it's and it actually focuses on food and kitchen related stuff so i'm going to leave the link um, in the description box now this guide is free okay i made it free but you just have to add it to your cards you wouldn't have to put in any payment details and then just check out because it's free um if you're using the link however and then you can't check out because maybe you are not here in the uk and don't have like a postcode or anything like that just let me know send me a message on instagram and i would leave you a copy in your inbox so yes i'm sure you'd be able to find whatever you're looking for in that um guide okay what area of London do you live currently looking to rent and I'm struggling so unfortunately I can't really tell you where I'm living right now for safety reasons but if you DM me on Instagram I can show you a couple of websites that I use to find my accommodation okay so on those websites they have different properties listed down so you can just like filter location and stuff like that and then find somewhere for yourself okay so just send me a message on instagram i love your place how did house hunting go and is this a two bed or one and will you recommend any so the place that i live in is a two bed because i live with my sister so she lives in one room and i live in the other room um so we just used these online websites to find our accommodation if you need help with that like i said just send me a dm and i'll send you um a list of you know the websites that we used could you please showcase more vegetarian dishes okay that's something that i would actually do and um, thanks for telling me this i would work on that and make sure that i get some vegan friendly recipes out there so yeah so this one actually came from one of my schoolmates from my very very first school and i know because he put his name at the bottom even though it was anonymous the first question is max lynn have you faced racial discrimination since you began vlogging and how did you handle it um i don't think i have i haven't faced any of that yet so thank god i don't think i will at least not anytime soon hopefully Two, have you ever considered opening a restaurant in Ghana, possibly in your 30s? So yes, I have thought about this before, um, not even by 30, I've just, when I started this cooking thing, one of the things that I thought I really wanted to do was have a restaurant, um, but I don't think I want to be a restaurant here, I don't think it's part of the things that I really want to do now. Um, maybe somewhere in my 40s or 30s, I don't know, but that's not the thing on my mind right now. Running a restaurant isn't just about the food and stuff like that, it can get really time consuming and I feel like there's so many other things I could explore in the world of food. Um, it doesn't have to be owning a restaurant, you know, so yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm open-minded about it, but um, it's not something that I would do if you ask me right now, what do you want to do in the food industry? It's going to be like the last thing, if you get what I mean. So yeah. And then the third question was, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years in terms of food vlogging? Hopefully, I'll be able to be consistent in the next 10 years. 
I'm only saying this because I see myself doing other things in the food industry that isn't exactly food blogging or food vlogging. I'll try my best to keep up with this thing but if I don't just know that I'm putting my energy into something else in the food industry. That's just it so yeah. So let me actually answer the question. So I see myself hiring like a videographer or a team of videographers that would actually be able to shoot my content for me so I wouldn't have to worry about that. That's like one less thing to worry about because like I said, I'll be focusing on other things in the food industry and um, still doing these recipe videos, you know. I'm always going to try and give you guys these recipes and then yeah, just having a team of people that would actually help me to achieve my goal. So yeah. One thing you can't survive without God. God is not a thing, but that's like someone I can't survive without. So thin. I can't survive without... To be honest, I don't know. I can't survive without... I don't know, cooking? Guys, this is a hard question. I don't know, but one person that I can't do without is God because from him comes my strength, you know, ideas, everything, you know. Another question about if I'm dating, I know I'm not. <laughs> do you plan on returning to Ghana after school or do you prefer to stay there and work? I don't want to live here after school. I really want to go back home, hopefully I do. Um, because I just feel like most of the things that I really want to do, I can do very well when I'm in Ghana and I can expand more when I'm in Ghana. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I just feel like it will be harder to do what exactly I want to do over here. And another thing for me is that most of the ideas that I have um, are going to be new ideas in Ghana. What I mean by that is that if I'm to start those things over here, there are things people are already doing over here. Do you get what I mean? So. It won't be like filling a gap because it's something that's already been done here. So most of the things that I want to do in Ghana are gaps that I actually want to fill. Things that are not in Ghana that I think I can do. Do you get what I mean? So it will be easier for me. And that's one of the many reasons why I want to go back to Ghana after school. But yeah. Okay, someone is asking, what apps do you edit your videos with? Clean content, by the way. Love it. Thank you very much. Um, so... For my Instagram Reels, I always use Instagram to edit. I know a lot of people don't believe me when I say this, but I use Instagram to edit all of my Reels. And sometimes when I want the thing, one specific video to zoom in, you know that thing that it does? I edit that bit on CapCut. Just that single slide. I edit that single scene on CapCut and then I come and do the rest of the editing on Instagram. So I edit all of my reels on Instagram. Every single reel you've seen on my page I edited on Instagram. I know it's hard to believe. I don't know why some people, I know a lot of people tell me that they don't believe me when I tell them that. But yes, I edit my reels on Instagram and my vlogs, the vlogs that you watch, I just use iMovie. Um, yeah, I like how iMovie works. It's so easy and the best part, it's free. So yeah. And then the very last question, which is actually not a question, you should post more selfies. I don't know why I feel like the person who asked me how many selfies I post in a week is the same person that is asking me this, but okay, I'll try. So those are all the questions I received. I actually enjoyed answering all of them. If you guys want to see this more often, if I actually post that you guys should ask me questions, please do because this is like the third time I've tried because the first and second time, I think I got only two questions each. So I was like, I can't add that to my vlog. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share with a friend. Talk to someone about Maxi's Kitchen, we're about to hit 1k or we've hit 1k already, I don't know where we're at right now but you know, let's just tell more people about Maxi's Kitchen and then grow the family. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you guys in my next vlog, bye!